Welcome to Tech News Briefing. It's Thursday, October 5th. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. The electric car maker Rivian set out to build the ultimate electric pickup truck, but its design comes with a hefty price, over $80,000 on average for customers. And still, Rivian took a $33,000 loss on every car it sold in the second quarter. When the company went public in 2021, investors piled cash into it. But unless it can get its costs down, the company's future looks precarious. Sean McLean, who reports on EV startups for the WSJ, has been looking into Rivian's prospects, and he joins me now to talk about it. Sean, when Rivian went public, it was suggested that it could become the Tesla of trucks. It was even briefly valued at more than Ford and GM. But now it's got these huge costs. What makes Rivian's vehicle so expensive? Well, Rivian's really got two problems. One, it really doesn't produce enough vehicles in its factory, right? So the amount you spend on manufacturing of car in terms of labor costs and running your machinery stays roughly the same whether you produce one vehicle or you produce 10,000 vehicles. So Rivian's costs for running the factory are spread along too small a number of vehicles, which is driving up its per vehicle cost. But the other problem that Rivian has is really more purposeful, which is that Rivian really set out to build a no compromise vehicle that could perform both like a sports car and like an off-roader, which is not usually something that a car can do because building them that way is incredibly expensive. And can you just tell us, for somebody who's maybe never encountered one of these, what does a Rivian look like? What makes it more special, more no compromises than, say, other electric pickup trucks? Rivian vehicles have a a number of fairly neat party tricks. If you open up the driver's side door on a Rivian, there is a little light that pops on that really helps you see in the dark. But that's not just a light. If you press on it, a little LED flashlight will come out. And uh, the speaker system underneath the console where in a normal gasoline car the gear shift would be, there's actually a removable Bluetooth speaker that you can take with you. If you take your vehicle camping, there's a button you can press called Camp Mode where the vehicle will automatically level itself on a slope so you can sleep comfortably if you're camping in your car. There's just a a lot of neat tricks in a Rivian vehicle that you really don't see anywhere else. Are there ways that Rivian could reduce its cost for making each of its vehicles? There are. And what Rivian's CEO is currently focused on doing is trying to remove some of the complexity from the engineering of the vehicles. For example, Rivian builds and designs a lot of its components in-house, which is unusual in the auto industry because it's way more expensive to do it that way. Because it designed those in-house, it's a really time-consuming process. And in order to hit manufacturing deadlines, Rivian had to prioritize doing things in-house over doing things efficiently. They couldn't do both at the same time, they said. So now Rivian is trying to consolidate the number of uh, these, these small computers in their vehicle, which is also bringing down the wiring in the vehicle, both of which are currently expensive parts for the Rivian vehicles, but they're hoping to cut out a lot of those costs by redesigning it. But they're also redesigning more core components like the the frame of the vehicle on which the main body sits, which currently is very complicated and difficult to build, according to sources I've spoken to. Are there other ways the company could get its overall costs down? Yeah, look, Rivian has tried a couple other things. They've they've laid off workers. They've cut back on some spending on programs that aren't necessarily devoted to making money today. But also, really, what Rivian says they need to do is to dramatically increase the number of vehicles it's producing in a year. Have we seen other EV startups struggle with the same sort of problems that Rivian is facing? Oh, yeah. Lucid uh, Motors, which is a luxury EV maker, is also losing money on every vehicle they sell. And Tesla, famously, for many years, was unprofitable until they were able to get costs down and volume up. However, unlike Tesla, Rivian is trying to get its start in an environment that's way more competitive than, than Tesla's. They're competing not only with, with other startups, but with traditional automakers who are rolling out their own electric SUVs and pickup trucks. So what's the outlook then for Rivian? I mean, does it have a, a long runway to get these things right? Or is it under more pressure than, say, a company like Tesla was when it was able to be not profitable for a number of years? Well, look, it's not a great situation when you're losing money the way Rivian 
is doing. However, most analysts who watch Rivian believe that the company still has ample ways to go back out and raise money. And Rivian does have some runway with $9 billion left in the bank. And that's just cash. Even with just the $9 billion in their bank account, Rivian thinks it has enough runway to build its second factory in Georgia, where they're planning to launch a more mass market priced version of its vehicles, which Rivian hopes will then in turn dramatically increase the people who could possibly purchase a Rivian. All right, that's our reporter, Sean McLean. Thanks for joining us. And that's it for Tech News Briefing. Today's show was produced by Anthony Bancy with Deputy Editor Chris Sinsley. For more tech stories, head over to the Wall Street Journal's website, wsj.com. I'm Zoe Thomas. We'll be back tomorrow. Thanks again for listening.